We have Steve Babbitt coming up to speak at the International Real Estate Committee meeting. Um, when I got that email, I didn't realize I was going to talk, so <laughs> <laughs> But I'm kind of a newbie in this, and uh, I, I want to just put a plug in for the, uh, the uh, theater courses that the Marcus uh, Wally presented to us, and a bunch of us from Rochester took it and kind of got us all excited. And we're in the process of starting to put together an international uh, organization there. Carol's going to be helping us a little bit more. But uh, the transactions that I've actually done, um, some of the comments that some, some of the people have made uh, are really indicative of what I've found out. Um, I've done a number of rentals with uh, uh, some uh, MBA graduates from Chile, and they referred me to other graduates from Chile. So there is that loyalty string that happens. Uh, they all knew how to speak English, so I didn't have to look for a translator, so that was helpful. Um, a couple of other uh, sales were with uh, uh, some international people that also spoke English, so it was a fairly simple transaction. Um, but one of the things that we're doing is, is trying to pull together in our area some of the people that would be part of our team, you know, a translator, an interpreter, you know, an international attorney, so that we'll have stuff in place for some of these people that we're anticipating working with. And we've identified a number of different uh, uh, groups that are, uh, have fairly large numbers in our area. You know, Vietnam, they always be a lot from uh, the Eastern European, Ukraine, Russia area. Uh, and they speak those languages. So, uh, but uh, the courses really were very, very, uh, very helpful in giving us the background. Steve, for those of us who are familiar with your area, what is your area? Oh, it's Rochester, New York. We're 60 miles across the lake from Toronto. So. Let's see who else is here at the meeting. <laughs> You really need to get certified interpreters. For instance, we had a situation where There's a child told his mother different things that were not correct because he loved the yard and wanted to place it in the pool for himself. So the interpretation that was done was not that was accurate in the realtor. We found this out because when he got a little lengthy and the interpreter finally was brought in at the contract stage, uh, all hell broke loose. 